What's up guys, Card Protagonist here, Bring you a deck before on the almighty Chaos deck from the brand new set Chaos Control Crisis. So this deck has been gotten a lot of hype due to the fact that it's able to call 4 monsters onto the field and have an overall of size 99. So this deck is really doing well in Japan because of the fact that he has so much power and is basically the brand new way of this season. So I'm going to do a deck profile and explain how this whole deck works and I hope you guys have to get to learn some new things today so yeah um right here i have the buddy rare which is the really really nice the really beautiful red border buddy rare the metallic red buddy rare uh, gear god and the secret flag um this okay let me go before going that far let me tell you more about chaos so chaos is a brand new uh flag or uh, brand new world from buddy fight and it yes similar to dragon's way you will only be able to start with four hand cards in your hand but there are many draw powers in Chaos, so this is not a problem. Um, similar to Zui, we have tons of impressive monsters, uh, monsters exclusive only to Chaos. So this, um, this is why Kaibushu kind of balance it a bit by giving it, uh, for starting four hand size. And you, as usual, you still start with ten hand, ten light points, which is, all right, a kind of more balanced because you won't be able to have twenty life like Zui. But nonetheless, this deck is much more defensive because you have tons of spells and monsters. So here is the flag, looks really nice. Obey me. Alright, let's go on to the deck before. So um this deck is um, mainly plays full size trees. So size three and size thirties. So yeah, um if you got there won't be any size zeros or size two and size ones. Alright, so first up we play four copies of Gear God 7. Uh, this is from the secret pack. His ability is he has a very very impressive stats of 5, 50k, 3 and 6. So even though he doesn't have a double attack or what, his ability makes up makes up for it. Basically, he is the recruiter of the deck. His core cost is pay 2 gauge and at the beginning of each player's attack phase. So not only you can use it on your own battle phase, you can use it on your opponent's battle phase. One combo I always like to do is I like to call... Um, during your, my opponent's battle phase, I like to call cards like these, which allows me to draw extra cards on my hand. Hopefully, I can draw some defensive cards, or also I could either call these, which um, will allow me to check top 3 cards on my deck, so that I can hopefully get into some defenses. So, this card is actually very powerful, not only to the fact that you'll be calling monsters for free, you will also be able to call stuff during your opponent's turn, so that you can net some advantage. You can also call stuff like Ibuki, which... Like, just destroy your opponent's monsters. So you could use this ability, call Ibuki, okay, pop one of the monsters. Good game. And you ruin so much of their strategies. Chaos Drain. This skill is exclusive to Gear Gods only. Whenever Gear God will be destroyed, uh, or will leave the field, you may destroy another size 3 card or less on your field. If you do, this card remains on your field. And he has Chaos Territory as well. Chaos Territory is only explained in the trial deck. If this card's in your center, you can put up two monsters into your center, including this card. So, uh, Chaos Sanitary is only exclusive to Gear Gods, which opens up another center for you. So, your opponent will have to get by these two monsters in order to attack your life points directly. So, it is a very, very powerful card. Now, due to the fact that it's able to recruit monsters for free. So, because you can call a monster without paying its core cost. So, stuff like Adieu Diablos, I need to pay three gauge. Nope, it's a free monster which have triple attack and his and you trigger his no soul ability which I'll be going on to later so it is a very 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 powerful card okay so this is the first form of gear uh, gear gods this is a secret pack one next time we have four copies of the trial deck gear god gear god 7 this is the manufactured havoc gear god 7 uh, card cost put up the two monsters from a few into this card so and pay to gauge you may choose not to put any card into this card so but you still have to pay the two gauge when this card enters the field, call up, call up to one Chaos Monster from your drop zone by calling its core cost. So what I usually like to do is, I call this guy. Battle phase, I use this ability, call this guy. Then I can call another card, maybe call this guy. That is, I mean, you could call something, you could call like something that's free. Or call a cheap cage, you can call these or any monsters. So yeah, you just like that, you easily fill up your monster, you fill up your field easily with this guy. So it is a very, very powerful card. Yes, even though it's a child deck card, it, I still say that you might you should at least play four because of its chaos drain. It also has chaos territory, which is good. Chaos drain is only exclusive to Gear God Seven Secret Form. So yeah, something to note. This is our size thirties. 
Right. Next up, size 3. One of my previous avatars, Adil Diablos. I don't know why all my avatars are always evil in body fight. So, call cost, put up to 2 cards from the deck in top of the deck into this card so and pay 3 gauge. Alright, so it's similar to the old RD doubles, 3 gauge, put top 2 cards in the soul, and you have a very, very powerful monster. The, if this card has no soul, this card gains plus power plus 2k and defense plus 2k. 9, 2, 9 uh, stats, which is very, very powerful because 9k usually your opponent have to link attack to destroy it. And this card cannot, on a few, cannot be destroyed nor returned to your hand by opponent's card effects. So it's a very, very powerful card because, um, think about this, you use Gear God, call, uh, activate ability, battle phase, call it for free. Yes, you will not have the Soul Guard, but immediately you will be able to have this 9 2 9 stats with triple attack. Yes, that is very, very powerful because you'll be attacking like, what, uh, 6 crits, just like that. This card is just unstoppable in Gear Gods, and I recommend you to play at least 4 in this deck. It's so damn good together with Gear God 7. So, are you Diablos, triple attack? If um, Even if you don't have the 2 crits, the triple attack is good because um, it's 7, 1 7 stats is able to um, give you some control. Control your opponent's bot. So it's a very, very powerful card. Next up, four copies of uh, Tartarus. Tartarus is Venus Flytrap. It's one of the nightmares monsters that you don't want to see. It's just terrifying. Call cost, put the top card of your deck into this card so and pay on gauge. And he has a very, very nice ability which allows you to control the bot. Counter, choose a monster on your opponent's field and discard a card from your hand. If you do, destroy that monster. You can only use it once per turn. Uh, so very good because during your opponent's turn, you let's say you fight against Zodiac, they have. Um, Nebulosa and the soul, discard one card, alright, and destroy your Nebulosa, alright, you do not have a double attack, so what you're gonna do? So, a uh, very, very good good control card, especially during your opponent's turn, so you can just bait them and wait for battle phase, then pop their monsters, then they will have one less monster to attack you. Next is four copies of uh, Chaos Darrow, Darrow, Chaos Darrow, Chaos Darrow is a very, very good card, um, there's a reason why he's so overpriced, it's because he is able to Tutor monsters from your deck. So his ability is when this card enters the field. It's a size 3 monster. Look at the top 3 cards of the deck. Choose among them and add one of them into your hand and press the drop zone. The cool thing is you do not need to show what you add to your hand. So this is a surprise element for your deck. So uh, unlike Con Con which you have to show whatever the shit you took, you can just add it to your hand without your opponent knowing. And it also fills your drop zone. So it's pretty good not only in this deck but many other decks. Uh, Darkness Dragon War you could also play this card. And Chaos, very important. It's a size 3 monster. This is a fantastic card. It doesn't have Life Link as well. Next, um, this is Double Rares. 4 copies of this card. This card is basically uh, your advantage engine. When this card enters the field and you... On your left or right and you have a monster in the center, put the top card of the deck into the gauge and draw a card. So, what I usually use this with Gear God. I usually use this with Gear Gods. So, you call it to your left or right. You can charge and draw 1. Alright, so that's just instant plus one. A very, very powerful card. Yes, even though he has one crit, but it's just there to give you a free plus one. And sometimes I like to use Gear God ability during your opponent's turn and coin mark. And hopefully draw, charge and draw into something cool, I guess. You know. So that's four copies of uh, Chaos Osiris. So next up, we have... Three copies of Cro uh, Chaos Aquario. So he's basically Aquarius from the Star Legend World Stars. When this card enters the field and put the number of cards from the top of that into your gauge, equals to the number of monsters other than this card on the field. So usually you have four cards on the field. So your usually your formation is usually like this. You have two cards in the center, one on the right, maybe call this to the left. You can one, two, three, charge three gauge. A monster to charge three gauge is just simply amazing. And he has good stats as well. Five two five. And it's not once per turn ability, so you could actually call multiple copies if you need the gauge. Uh, two copies of Chaos Gogas. Gogas is a very uh, powerful card. Um, choose a Chaos monster other than Gogas in your drop zone and pay on gauge and tap this card. If you do, put the chosen card into your hand. So, yes, people say, oh, but you're resting of card and you will not get attacked. But think about it. You pay one gauge, you rest this guy, get Aquarius out. You call and call Aquarius over and you can charge more gauge. So, basically makes us ability free. Another thing I like to use is I like to call use him. And uh, I just activate. Oh, you destroyed my gear god last turn. It's fine, I'll just call it again. You know, you could add anything back. Or you could also add um, this guy. Rest, add back, charge, and draw one. So basically, you get a plus one. It's so damn good. Uh, most importantly, the reason why you want to play him is because he helps you fill up your four card, form four card formation field easily. So two copies is fine. You could play three if you want to. 
And finally, one copy of um, Chaos Ezreal. Ezreal is a very, very interesting monster because when this card's on the left or right, all monsters in your center gains plus one critical. Very good card to combo with um, uh, Adio Diablos if it's in the center because it becomes a triple attack monster with three crits and that's nine damage, which is no joke. So you could either, let's say this is a center, Ezreal. Cool, I have three crits, three, three, three. Otherwise, you could also use it with a combo with your impact. So since it's like a three crit and another four crit, that's seven crit in the, I believe. Yeah. So that's seven crit impact with two gauge. So it's so damn good. All right. So one copy of Ezreal. We, we are playtesting him as tech right now. All right. Finally, let's go on to the spells. Four copies of Launch the Auto Deity. So Auto Deity is basically your searcher for a gear god. His ability is put up, uh, put one size three mon size thirty monster or greater from your deck into your hand. So I believe from this text, you will know that there will probably be another higher size gear god, probably gear god ten, if nineteen size ninety nine. You may only cast launch the auto deity once per turn. So it's basically a rota or searcher for your gear god. Very important. I'll definitely play four in the deck. Four copies of. The ruler, a ruler's privilege. So a ruler's privilege has split abilities. You may only cast this card if three or more, uh, size three, monster of you. So it's very easy because this deck just pops up size three for free. Choose, and use one of the following effects. It has two abilities. Put a card other than itself from the drop zone into your hand. Very very powerful ability because come to think about it, do you need a negate? Fine, you get a negate from the drop zone. Do you need an impact? I hit. I got your back. Do you need a monster? I got your back. Do you need even a draw spell? You got your back. Anything is in your grabs. So it is so damn good, okay? Um, because of the fact you are able to tutor any card. Spell, item, weapon, anything. You just get it to your hand. For no gauge cost. Second ability is counter. Resend a size 3 or greater monster on your field. So if fighting, you're fighting against Zodiac or your Gravity Rest. Oh, too bad. I used previous uh, privilege. Resend and attack you for game. So yeah, a very very useful card. Next up, uh, four copies of Gear, Gear War. I call it Gear War. Basically, it's a blue dragon shield when you have uh, two or more chaos on the field. So it's very easy to have chaos on the field because um, few presence is chaos. Um, chaos means a, a K means plus. So yeah, so basically blue dragon shield. Great. Um, three copies of electrification. You may only cast this card if you have four monsters on your field. Four or more monsters on your field. So yeah, just like that, you'll be able to get um, put the top card of that in your gauge, gain one life, and draw two cards. So that is advantage engine at its finest. At a single card, getting four cards on the field is easy peasy. Finally, we have the two glowing testicles. Um, sorry, sorry to say that's so stupid. So the one who comes from havoc, uh, pay one gauge, and you have two or more chaos on the field. Draw two cards, easy, okay? So this advantage engine. And it looks really nice. And finally, we have four impacts. We have two copies of Flop, uh, Force Global Shutdown. Uh, this is one of my favorite impacts of due to its how how it, epic it looks. You may only cast the card if you have a five if they are at five life or less. Pay two gauge deal damage to your opponent equals to the total critical of all monsters on your center. So if you were to have like Gear God and any monster is pretty much just like an instant 5 crit. Sometimes I actually, there are times I, I have two gear gods together, and that's automatically become 6 crit impact. So, uh, 2 gauge for 6 crit impact is just so damn good. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy my deck profile on the Chaos deck from Chaos, Christ, Chaos Control Crisis. If you like more deck profiles like these, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you love, to, uh, if you like to buy some cards, uh, to build decks like these, be sure to check out Buddy Mart. I'll link, uh, leave a link to the online store on, in the description box down below. So if you're looking for cards and, we are, uh, they are willing to deliver to your doorstep. Make sure to check out buddies-mart.com. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out and love you guys. Rar.